hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this particular video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make a flounce into a sleeve just like this it's very simple and if this is what you are interested in learning stay tuned until the end of this tutorial now you're going to be needing your fabric and a crino line these are only the two materials you're going to be needing for this tutorial first you're going to determine the length of the crino line you are to use so for mine i had three inches you're going to be folding your fabric into four equal halves so guys i'm going to be needing this particular fabric for both the actual piece and the lining piece and i'm making this into my two sleeves okay so i folded into four equal halves so what i'm going to do is to show you guys how to fold this first of all you're going to fold into two and again once you are done folding into two go ahead and fold into so for again so whatever it is you have on your width and your length you're going to divide it into two again and locate the middle of this fabric so i'm going to measure it for you guys to see so on the width i had 22.5 inches and on the length wise i have 26.5 inches so this lengthwise i'm going to divide it into two again and locate the center and then uh, to the other side i'm also going to equally divide into two and locate the center we have our middle part of this fabric now i'm going to determine the radius i'm going to be needing for this flanks so i'm going to make use of two inches that is like what everybody use okay so you are not going to go below these two inches or above these two inches two inches is enough for your radius okay so i'm going to create this into a circle and you guys you can see what i have right here now um from here we are going to determine the length of our flans and to do that it all depends on the length of the crinoline line you are using so go ahead and measure the crinoline line you are using because we have one inch length we have two inches length and this particular one i'm using is about three inches length so what i would advise you do is to go ahead and add up one inch to whatever length of crinoline line you are using so i went ahead to measure out four inches and then connected you can see the way i connected it and you guys i'm just going to go ahead and take these four inches all around this fabric like i'm forming a spiral until i get to the end where i will not be able to get these four inches okay so i'm just going to do this while you watch and once we get to the part which we are no longer able to get these four inches you go ahead and connect okay Everybody in the world blind Please Lord give me a sign A sign so i'm going to just go ahead and connect like this or if you don't want it this way you're going to connect just like this into the other four inches you guys you can see the way i connected this so i'm just going to make these lines visible enough for you guys to see clearly what we have right here you can see we have like a spiral this is literally one way you can get your flans guys there is this flans you can also cut like a flare and then join them together but i prefer this one so you guys we are going to go ahead and cut out our flans and to do that first of all i'm going to cut out the xx which i'm not going to be needing so guys you can see the way i'm cutting this out i'm just going to cut until i get to that particular point where i wasn't able to get that four inches any longer as you can see and i'm just going to go ahead and cut away the ss and then continue my cutting okay There's 
no mercy in this world just hunger thirsty persons in different versions each do what they that shit worsens why pull back the curtain and you'll see the different vermin we all have different burdens that all seem to cause disturbance y'all so do me a favor don't treat me like a neighbor don't need the different flavors of your problems just i've been able to cut out the radius you can see i'm going to go ahead and put that aside because you are not going to be needing it so guys this is my flounce so next i'm going to go ahead and bring in my quinoline and i'm going to just go ahead and start sewing in this quinoline into my flounce and you guys remember like i said this is for my two sleeves and i have two parts for one part of my sleeve and the other part is for the other part of my sleeve so i'm just going to make sure that two of them are facing each other right sides and i'm going to go on to my sewing machine and start stitching guys remember that one part is kind of pointy so i'm going to cut away that because if you leave it that way your clean line is going to be coming out of the fabric and that is not what you need now clean line have this tendency of poking on people so you guys make sure to secure this with a piece of fabric or you can see i'm making use of masking tape to secure the rough edge okay so once i am done with this i will go ahead and start stitching this into my fabric okay so to stitch this you guys are going to make use of half an inch and you're going to make sure that you are not stretching this crino line because if you do the wavy effects you are not going to get it any longer so keep sewing using half an inch and ensure that your two flares aligns properly well while you do this okay You can see the way i'm doing this so because of the um spiral effect this might not be that easy for you but you guys just ensure that the both fabrics aligns properly well okay let's go i am using this particular fabric for both the lining piece and the actual piece okay so if you want to make use of lining or you want to make use of other material in that case you want your fabrics not to be the same okay so you want one particular um, parts to be a different kind of fabric and you, you want the other parts to be a different kind of fabric you can go ahead and do that okay so but for this one because i'm making use of the same fabric i'm going to top stitch so what i'm going to do is to go ahead and push one part of this fabric towards where the crane line is and that is where i'm going to be top stitching okay so guys um this top stitch is not going to be that easy because of the wavy effect of the flounce is not going to be easy like you are seeing me doing it if i tell you that my hand at a time was paining me you won't believe that okay so you are just going to make sure that you do this carefully don't rush just be patient enough until you get to the end of this okay so once you get to the end the next step you are going to take is to go ahead and secure the ends so i'm securing one part of the end and once i am done i'm going to go ahead and secure the other part of the end okay and once i am done with this i'm going to go ahead and turn it over and give it a good press now i'm going to go top stitch on this upper part and after top stitching i'm going to weave using my weaving machine what you guys know as seja also okay so now that i am done you can see i'm going to bring in my basic sleeve and now you guys this is where we are going to be sewing these flanks into okay so now i'm going to divide my sleeve into two 
like i'm going to fold this to locate the center now what i'm going to do next is to go ahead from the center i'm going to mark out two inches from both sides okay this is just a guide for me to be able to know that i'm sewing in the sleeve in the middle okay because this sleeve is supposed to stay right at the middle of our sleeve now from the upper part of my sleeve i'm going to go down by one inch which is literally where i'm going to be fixing into my armhole okay you don't want your sleeve to obstruct that now i'm going to draw like a spiral but this spiral is not going to be a circular spiral okay you can see the way i'm trying to draw this or should i say this is like in a snake form okay so guys i'm going to repeat the same thing to the other sleeve and once i am done i'm going to bring in my flanks and then we move over to the machine so that i can show you guys how to fix this now to fix this i'm going to ensure that i'm following these lines if you are not able to follow these lines that is okay but just make sure that you sew your sleeves very close so that they can come out beautiful okay and remember as you sew you are supposed to be pleating so that it will look very full okay now you guys as you can see i am trying to sew this might be kind of very difficult for you when you are trying to turn this but you guys try as much as you can to get what you want this sleeve is very very beautiful So guys, next thing you're going to see is my sleeve. I'm not able to put this on mannequin. This is my sleeve. I'm sure you guys enjoy it. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Share to get more people to see this particular video, okay? And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.